for most people, the last thing they want to have is an operation. And I appreciate that completely. People often come into my office very, very nervous. I actually prefer if two people come together because often the person is so anxious they don't remember a lot of what I say and if they've got somebody with them the other person remembers a moderate amount more of what the consultation was but more importantly than that I give almost all of my patients a handout which gives them a summary of information that we've discussed so they can take it and read it afterwards. Now I'm a relatively conservative surgeon for me surgery really is the last option for most people. Every operation has some complications and so we try to avoid surgery where we can. Now there are some cases where clearly surgery is the best option and there are many cases where the person has completely maximized their non-operative treatment, their lifestyle is not worthwhile at the moment and surgery will definitely help them. And those are the people that we're trying to pick out from all the people that come to see us. We're trying to continue non-operative treatment. So I understand the non-operative treatments very well. And if a patient hasn't had maximal non-operative treatment, I'm going to maximize their non-surgical treatment before offering them an operation. To be sure, because if I can get another two, three, even five years out of a knee, before the person has to have their operation. That's an ideal situation for the patient. So just because they're seeing me as a surgeon doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be offered an operation.